The British Embassy in Kuwait hosted a dinner event for 70 Kuwaiti alumni of UK military academies and colleges. Mi um, military education is an important component of the broader defense and security partnership between Kuwait and the UK. Here's more. The British Embassy in Kuwait hosted a dinner for 70 Kuwaiti alumni of some of the UK's most prestigious military academies and colleges. These institutions have jointly trained over 600 Kuwaiti military personnel between 1952 and today. So tonight's dinner um, is the first of its kind. It'll be the first time that we've ever brought together Kuwaiti alumni from our various British military um, institutions, different colleges and academies. We're looking forward to welcoming probably about 70 Kuwaiti graduates from Sandhurst, from Cranwell, from Dartmouth, from the Royal College of Defence Studies, and we'll bring them together so they can network and share reflections and memories and reminisce. So we're looking forward to cl ever closer um, um, different forms of defence partnership and cooperation. During the course of this year, for example, we'll welcome over 30 short-term training teams coming in from the UK to train Kuwaiti military personnel in lots of different disciplines. Military education is of great importance for the Kuwaiti-UK partnership, and this year there will be around 100 Kuwaiti Armed Forces personnel expected to attend military courses in the UK. In addition to 100 more are trained annually at Mbarak al-Abdullah Joint Command and Staff College, the only UK accredited staff college in the Middle East. The role of military education is absolutely vital for our partnership and it sits at the core of everything we do. And that's where it should sit because investing in our young people, our future generation, is no better investment. And if we just look forward this year to yeah, what that investment looks like. We have over 100 uh, Kuwaiti military uh, personnel in the UK on different courses. We have over 100 Kuwaiti personnel in the UK in academic and civilian institutions. Ongoing efforts to enhance collaboration in the defence sector, particularly in education and joint military training, highlights the exceptional military relationship between both nations. The United Kingdom will always be an important ally for the state of Kuwait and through the years, this strategic partnership have seen cooperation on multiple levels. This event actually reflects the mutual understanding and represents the close relationship between the two friendly armed forces. We uh, truly consider this event as a continuation of strengthening our diplomatic and military ties that started 125 years ago. I am uh, extremely delighted to meet uh, His Majesty's Ambassador and British High Officials, as well as meeting many Kuwaiti officers representing different sectors of our armed forces. As we approach the anniversary of signing our Joint Defense Cooperation Agreement, the State of Kuwait remembers with great gratitude the United Kingdom stands in fighting for Kuwait's sovereignty where 53,462 members of the British Armed Forces were deployed to join the coalition forces that liberated Kuwait in 1991. This year marks a milestone in the Kuwaiti-British relations and we hope for further cooperation in the future. This is Shogun Mala reporting for the English News.